Hey guys, keep watching if you want to see how I made these amazing tribal earrings. Okay, so first up, you're going to need a sheet of foam. I'm using black. Next, you're going to need some type of tribal print fabric. I'm using tribal print ribbon. You can always use regular fabric if you would like. Glue. Scissors, of course. You're going to need something to trace your shape with. I'm using a square marking pencil. Earring posts. And last but not least, earring backs. Okay, so first you're going to start out with your shape. And you're going to outline that on your foam sheet. Once that's completed, you're going to cut out the two shapes. Okay, so next you're going to take your fabric or your ribbon and you're going to align it with the top of one of the cutout shapes, making sure it's as close to the top as possible. Next, you're going to take your glue and you're going to apply it to the top portion. Then take your fabric or your ribbon and place it onto the glue. Keep in mind to leave a small portion at the end because you're going to wrap that around. You want continuous fabric throughout the entire earring because we don't want any black spots to show. We want it to just be pure fabric. So you're going to wrap it around like so. So now you're going to apply the glue to the back of the earring. and just wrap the ribbon around that. Cut off the excess ribbon. It should look something like this once you're completed if you're using ribbon. If you're using fabric it will be a lot easier because instead of doing ribbon strips of ribbon it'll just be one fabric and it'll probably be so much easier just to glue it on and just wrap it around you want to make sure that you're keeping and pulling the fabric tight or the ribbon tight you don't want it to be you know droopy or like baggy or anything so make sure you're pulling it tight when you're gluing it onto the cutout shape and you're just going to continue doing that for the rest of the earring Okay, so once you're done gluing the ribbon or fabric, it probably won't be so much with the fabric, but with the ribbon because it doesn't exactly line up with the cutout shape. You're just going to cut off, cut off the excess um, foam that was left over 
And once you're completed, you should have two shapes that look like this. Lovely. I'm actually going to figure out the orientation. I want it to be a diamond, not a square. But if you want it to be a square, you can do it like that. But I'm going to do a diamond. And you're going to take your earring post and you're just going to glue it as close to the top as possible. And you want to make sure you let this dry for at least an hour before you try putting in your ear or anything like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you make your own tribal print earrings. Um, you know how I do, straight to the point, super easy DIYs. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching so much. Don't forget to check the description box. And until next time, peace and dopeness.